Hi, I'm Carlos from Sonimus. Who wouldn't want to have a custom-made console in their studio? One that will give your mixes, analog vibe, and speed up your workflow. What if I tell you you can get it in your DAW? You just need to take advantage of the templates in your DAW and a couple of Sonimus plugins. For this video, I'll be using Pro Tools, but you can do it with any other major DAW. We will start with a blank session to create our custom template. The first thing we need to do is thinking about what kind of projects we'll be mixing this session. That will dictate the setup in our template. In this example, I will create a basic rock mixing template, but it can be modified and customized for your own sessions or even extended afterwards. I'll start by creating all the tracks needed in the template and route them accordingly. I'm going to create seven auxiliary tracks. These are going to be our summing buses that will include guitar bus, bass bus, drum bus, lead vocal, BVs, FX bus, and master bus. I like to bring my mixes live, so I'll add a post fader send from the master bus to an audio track where the mix will be recorded once ready. I'm also going to add some reverb and delay effects tracks with plugins that I like to use regularly in my mixes and route them to the FX channel. Now that we have our tracks ready, let's add our plugins. First, we will add an instance of Bridgestone Bus on every auxiliary bus we created, followed by the Burnley 73 and Tuco. You can choose the order of these last two based on the desired processing effect. For example, in the bass bus, I will put Tuco first and Burnley afterwards to make the dynamic of the bass more consistent and then adjust its tone. In our master bus, to spice things up, instead of Tuco, I like to add an instance of Satson CS with only a compressor unit after the Bridgestone bus. Now, let's engage the groups in the Bridgestone master bus and arrange the groups accordingly in the rest of the tracks. That way, you will have control over your mix from the master Bridgestone bus. If you find yourself using similar EQ or compressor settings on your mixes, you can set those up as your starting point in your template. This way, you will save time and make your mixing process more creative. For this template, I'm going to set up my master bus compression with a low ratio, slow attack, and auto release. I'm also going to engage the filtering of the Burnley to clean up the tracks on everything but the bass and the drums. Let's save this as my Bridgestone Bus Rock template so I can use it in future mixes. Now we are ready to import our audio tracks into the project. Once that's done, we can add Bridgestone Channel plugin on every single audio track, assign those to the dedicated Bridgestone groups, and route the tracks to the corresponding buses. Let's apply some gain staging using Bridgestone, and we can start focusing on mixing our track with some instant analog vibe thanks to our template. How would you set up your template? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to follow Sonimus for more tips and tricks for mixing with Sonimus plugins.